has the first question, raise their hand, they'll give you a microphone. Uh, for Chris, please. Chris, uh, how many times have you uh, had a chance to, to go back and watch the fight since the first fight? I mean, how many times have you watched it over and over? Uh, I watched it, I can't tell you how many times, but a bunch of times, probably uh, the first two weeks after the fight, and I haven't really watched it since, but a lot of times, I don't know, maybe 50, I'll, I'll throw that out there. And when you watch the fight, what's your evaluation of it? You know, is it a mistake that he made or a perfect performance by you? What is your evaluation of the fight? You know, I think I, I went out there and, and, and worked hard and, and went for everything that I felt. You know, in the first round, I went for the heel hook and, and knee bar. You know, didn't get it, but I went for it. Uh, you know, I felt a little sluggish in there. You know, I took I had a year off. I had two back-to-back -back surgeries. Um, so I was I, I didn't feel 100%, but I, was, I still, you know, felt good enough to get the win. And I'm excited to have a full camp and be able to, you know, not have to nurse an injury. And excited for this next fight. And so much of the talk afterwards, it seemed like immediately was about what Anderson did wrong versus what you did right. Did that frustrate you at all, or did you kind of expect that that was going to be the public reaction? No, I, I didn't mind at all. You know, he deserves that type of respect. He's, uh, you know, greatest of all time. Uh, people can't fathom the fact that he lost. So obviously, uh, I knew going into that fight, we were going to have to have a rematch. Uh, I was going to have to prove people wrong again. Uh, even after this next fight, uh, when I win, there's still going to be a lot of doubters out there. Um, there's always, there's, no matter what, there's always going to be excuses out there for you know why you got the W, and that's just part of the sport. And for Anderson, if I could please, uh, I'm curious, uh, Anderson, how many times has he watched the fight since it first happened, and what his evaluation was? Was it just a fantastic performance by Chris, or does he feel like he made a mistake? So. I watched the fight uh, in the three times. My coach watched more. When you watch it, was it just an amazing performance by Chris or was it just a mistake by, by you? The Chris is new champion, man. You need to respect this guy, bro. Come on. And, and one last one, Anderson. Has there been any positives in not being a champion? Has life been any easier or, or less pressure filled for you? Nope. How much have you worked on your wrestling or takedown defense preparing for this fight? Uh, I trained the Grand Mass Jedi now. Yoda. How much have you worked on your wrestling or takedown defense preparing for this fight? Uh, I trained the Grand Mass Jedi now. Yeah, Yoda. And what was the reaction from the Brazilian home crowd when you came home and for the first time you didn't have the belt? Normal. Normal. I'm Brazilian. And for you, Chris, um, what has changed for you since you've been the champion? Uh, a lot of different people coming out of the woodwork for sure. Uh, you know, I was able to get out of the house. I got hit by Hurricane Sandy, uh, able to buy a new house, uh, going into closing soon. So that's going to be huge to be able to be organized, not clustered up into a, you know, a small uh, little house. So I'm excited to have that. Um, I think that's, I don't know, there's probably some different things, but that's all I'm thinking of right now. Do you feel that that rust has been shaken off? And do you feel that you would have the durability to last the entire fight this time around? Yeah, no, I was prepared to go five rounds in the last fight. Um, I didn't, I didn't necessarily feel tired. I just felt a little, you know, off. I felt a little sluggish, uh, a little slower. Uh, but, you know, I'm also going against Anderson Silva, who's fast and quick. So, I mean, it could be a combination of that. Um, but. What have you heard more of after that fight? Have you heard more praise for you being the first person to knock off Anderson or more doubt because of kind of the way it happened with him kind of toying around in the cage? Uh, I think it changed. In the beginning, there was a lot of praise, and then a lot of the, uh, and then a lot of the doubters, you know, came out. I think I see a lot of that now. You know, I send a tweet, and then I get hit up with a million people. You get to die next fight, angry Anderson Silva's going to come out and smoke you. You know, you stink. You know, so I see a lot of that right now, but, you know, that's all good. That's what makes this sport awesome. Uh, whether they're rooting for Anderson Silva or me, uh, I love the fans. Um, you know, he, deserve, he deserves all the credit in the world. I mean, he's been doing this so much longer than me. He's done so much for the sport. 
Uh, he's had crazy finishes uh, in his time, and he, de he deserves all that, no matter if he gets knocked out or not. Last time we saw you here in Vegas after the fight, you said you didn't want to fight for the belt anymore. You weren't interested in a rematch. Uh, what changed your mind? So I have the new contract. In my contract, I have nine more fights. That's it? Nothing else? This new contract's pretty motivating. Before the last fight, I was still, you know, nursing an injury and I wasn't able to like, improve. And right now, I'm able to still work out and, and, and improve every day. So uh, that's really the only difference. As far as strategy, uh, it's kind of the same for every one of my fights. Just, you know, walk forward and, and I try, you know, to see. It's a, you know, it's a chess game out there. You know, if, I, if he thinks I'm doing one thing, I'm going to do the other. For Chris, uh, right here. Don't take this the wrong way. I don't want to suggest at all that a win, over, any win over Anderson Silva is easy. But I, I wonder, like, after the fight, just the way it went, was there any thought that went through your mind, like, wow, that was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be? No, I, it was difficult. I'm not saying it was uh, easy, you know. Uh, you know he's, a, he's as good as everybody thinks he is. You know, he's, he's the, you know, he's the greatest of all time for a reason. It's no fluke. Uh, you know, he, he's, a, he's a stud, and I'm expecting a war in the next fight, and, you know, I'm hoping for a finish. You don't feel like Chris is getting the respect he deserves. I've seen you say that to, to several reporters over the last few months, that, you know, respect this guy as the champion. What, why don't you think that he's getting the respect? Is it stories that you've read, or...? I don't know. I don't know. But sometimes the people watching the UFC the older people like we've seen, but no respect the champion. The quiz is new champion. The people need to respect this guy because the guy kill me. <laughs> Normal. This is the champion. I need to respect. First, was there any connection between his behavior and the performance? And does he have any regrets at all for how he handled himself in the week before the fight? No. Why? Sometimes I'm joking. <laughs> it's normal. And is there any feeling now, I know you have nine fights left on a contract, but is there any feeling at all that this fight could determine the, the rest of your future, that if you, if you don't win this fight, there's, there's nothing left for you? nine more fights and my focus is the my rematch for Chris and the new winners just come bro trust me <laughs> no this is my style and I working hard for a long time in UFC I have the 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 great fights in here is the same position and the same style I know change nothing